Good morning. Thanks for joining us as we bring you the Daily Post Scriptures thoughts and ideas for the 13th day of July. The scripture to start us this morning is from Psalm 5 and verse 12. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous, with favour wilt thou compass him as with a shield. If you're reading the Bible in a year today, the aim is to read uh, Psalm 7, 8 and 9 and Acts chapter 18. The thoughts of the day. We didn't write the plan. We're only expected to follow it without modification. It's hard to determine where to draw the line between being nice and not hurting people's feelings and standing up for what you believe. Obstacles are those frightful things that you see when you take your eyes off the goals. The motivational thought for the day? Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. On this day, in 1568, the Dean of St Paul's Cathedral perfects a way to bottle beer. <laughs> in 1772, Captain James Cook begins his second voyage to the South Seas aboard HMS Resolution to search for Terra Australis, the southern continent, or more particularly the southern land. In 1837 on this day, Queen Victoria became the first British monarch to live at Buckingham Palace in London. And a wonderful day on this day in 1937, Krispy Kreme Donuts was founded. <laughs> 1943, in World War II, the greatest tank battle in history ended on this day with defeat of Germany by Russian forces at Kursk, south of Moscow. More than 6,000 tanks were involved in the battle and at least 2,900 German tanks were destroyed. And 2008, on this day, the outline of a 6,000-year-old henge was discovered at New Grange in Ireland through drought and drone footage. The personal story of the day, he was a friend of all. As Jesus grew up, he, quote, increased in favour with God and men, unquote, from Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. People were drawn to him. Their fondness for him, of course, alarmed the religious leaders who hated him because of his teaching, and they, quote, sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people, in verse 2 of chapter 22. They hated him because he threatened their control over the people, the very ones that loved him. Today, as always, some will hate you for being an outspoken follower of Jesus Christ. But make sure it's not because you are unpleasant, critical and hard to get along with. Being a likeable person is to be like Jesus. The devotional thoughts of the day, the first... Laws that work, the scripture from Psalm 78 and verse 1 with references from Deuteronomy 27 verses 1 to 26. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Several years ago, media mogul Ted Turner expressed his opinion about the Ten Commandments by saying, if you're only going to have ten rules, I don't know if adultery should be one of them. Well, whether he was serious or not, his comment reflects the rejection of moral absolutes. It's not a denial that morals exist. Rather, some believe that ideas of right and wrong are so personal and subjective that they can't apply to anyone else. For them, nothing is written in stone. God's laws for Israel, however, were written in stone, both literally and figuratively. 
they weren't open for debate by God's people. Once Israel finally entered the promised land, they were to renew their covenant with God by listening to the Levites recite the blessings of obedience and the consequences of disobedience as promised in the law. God's people were then to acknowledge their accountability to this standard by responding with an Amen to each promise or threat. Many aspects of the law of Moses, however, were instructional and temporary. For example, the Mosaic law declared some foods clean and others unclean in order to drive home the need for God's people to distinguish between what is holy and what is unholy. When Jesus came, he declared all foods clean. See that in Mark chapter 7 and verse 19. The animal sacrifices and offerings required by the law were fulfilled by Christ. See Hebrews 10 and verse 1. These sacrifices were shadow of Jesus Christ's sacrifice and were never meant or able to remove sin. Instead, they pointed to the suffering of Jesus Christ who would offer himself once and for all. You can read that in Hebrews 7 verse 27, 10 verse 10 and 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. It's important to note the development and progress of God's revelation of his moral standard from the Old Testament to the New Testament. <coughs> this is reflected in some of the differences between Old Testament legislation and New Testament commands. Some Mosaic laws regulated practices that already existed but didn't reflect God's moral standard, as you can see in Matthew chapter 19, verses 8 and 9. The changes from Old Testament to New Testament were designed by God to move his people towards redemption and righteousness. Ultimately, the same moral standard lies behind both Testaments. That standard is righteousness as God defines it, and he alone has the authority, wisdom and love to define it. Praise him for that. Take these uh, thoughts and ideas to heart. The second uh, scripture for the uh, devotional thought for the day, later than we think. Scripture from Matthew 16, verse 3. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Folks, it's later than we think in our spiritual lives. We let the time go by and we think another day, another time, and we'll do what God wants. We'll study the word, speak to others about the Lord, maybe get our lives right with him. We don't stop to think that he is the one that makes it possible for that next breath to come. In the time it takes to blink an eye, we could be gone. We could draw our last breath by natural causes or perhaps be in an accident and die. We have no way of knowing when our time will come to meet our destiny. Each day is special. God gives us one more day to walk, work for the kingdom of God. We need to redeem the time, as we're told in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16. Preaching the gospel and supporting the weak is typical of this activity. It's later than they think, and eternity is in question for them. Let's start using every available minute to serve God in every capacity that he wants us to serve, whether it be by reaching out to others through outreaches or visiting them at home. Again, take these thoughts on board and praise the Lord. The facts of the day. The first oranges weren't, in fact, orange. The original oranges from Southeast Asia were a tangerine pomelo hybrid, and they were actually green. In fact, oranges in warmer regions, such as Vietnam and Thailand, still stay green through maturity. Here's something to test you. Scotland 
has 421 words for snow. Aye, yes, 421. Some examples. Sneasel, to start raining or snowing. Fiefel, to swirl. And flink drinking, <laughs> a light snow, or a night at the pub. <laughs> The closing thought for the day, I am thankful for the taxes I pay because it means that I am employed. And that's a sobering thought today. We're grateful that you joined us and we hope that you've enjoyed the daily post for this day and that it will be helpful to you. We hope you've enjoyed it so much that you'll come back again tomorrow. In the meantime, may the Lord bless your day. Bye for now.